Uh, hello everyone, sorry for the delay. Um, I've got Daryl Mitchell in the media centre. Uh, I'm just trying to have a quick look down who's got their hands up. I don't really see anyone from New Zealand at this time, so we'll just throw the first guy. Oh, actually, no, I see Ian Anderson from stuff.co.nz, so we'll open up with him and then I'll put the rest of the questions in the chat. So over to you, Ian. you got Daryl in the media centre. Hi, uh, Daryl. It's a uh, very good that uh, you did. And do you think that Nishang was the man who made the match? And what were the feelings and what were the thoughts between both of you at that time in 17 and 84? Yeah, I thought the way Jimmy came out and struck the ball pretty much from ball one was pretty special. And it, it got us some momentum heading up into the last few overs. And um, yeah, we always, obviously, the rate was pretty high at that stage. And yeah, I thought his knock was uh, yeah very special in helping us get the win. Sorry, I'll just go into the room first and then we'll go to Ian Anderson. So, Diva, you can open up. And then, uh, uh, hi, Daz. This is Diva from Brick Info. Many congratulations on your knock. Does that get better than this, like putting the black caps in the final with your former All Black dad in the stands? Yeah, it's obviously um, any game you win for your country is pretty special, let alone hard to do in the World Cup semi. Um, yeah, it's, it's obviously nice to contribute and, and help us get over the line. Um, but, yeah, we obviously know we've got a, another big one coming up in a couple of days' time now, which we're yeah, pretty excited about. Right. And, 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 and the first half and towards the end were pretty contrasting, like Wokes was swinging it left, right and centre at the top and then you lined him up towards the end. Could you just talk about fighting through the early exchanges and lining up Stokes at the, uh, sorry, Wokes at the end? Yeah, I think the new ball was very challenging on that surface. Um, it, was, it was pretty two-paced to start off with and um, yeah, as you can probably see, it was, it was uh, tough to get going at times. Um, but I thought the way that um, all the batters that came in sort of hung in there and, and helped build a platform to allow us to try and launch at the end and we're obviously very lucky that a few just snuck over the rope and, and got us going. And um, yeah, I think it was obviously a, it's a bit of a blur, but I can imagine it was a hell of a game to watch. And I think the way England played was, was very special as well. So um, yeah, it's obviously pretty cool to get the job done, but I know it was a game of inches, that's for sure. Hey, Daryl Mitchell, this is Jamil Hassan. Uh, we have been taught in school that slowly and steady wins the race. Your first 38 runs were on 33 balls, and the next 34 runs were on 14 balls. How quickly you changed your tempo? It's good math, that. Um, yeah, to be honest, uh, once the rate gets up at that sort of that height, um, you, you start just trying to make sure that you, you get your matchups that, that work for you, and you try and hit it as far as you can. To be honest, so um, yeah, for us, we were we were very lucky that we we sort of held a platform. We didn't lose too many wickets in the middle there, and it allowed us to take some risks at certain times to try and catch up. So. Um, yeah, for me, it was, yeah, it was nice to sort of get it out of the middle of the last few. It was, it was a struggle there throughout the middle, um, but yeah, it was nice to get it done. Three years, three formats, and three finals. How confident you are to win this tournament? Uh, look, we're, we're a bunch of Kiwis. There's only five million of us, so we're obviously very proud to be representing our country. And um, yeah, so obviously, we've had some success in the last few years. Um, but, you know, we're, we're going to enjoy the win tonight, make sure that, obviously... Um, we celebrate that, but then we move on pretty quickly. We know we've got a, a final on Sunday, and um, whoever we're taking on, um, it should be good fun. Um, we'll give it everything we've got, but at the end of the day, there's certain things you can't control, so we'll see what happens. Hi, Darrell. When, it, when it's 57 from 24 balls, what was the conversation between you and Jimmy? Did you feel that was sort of out of control too much? Or can you talk us through that? Um, no, it probably sounds weird, but it never felt like it was out of our, our grasp. Um, I think especially with that smaller side boundary on one side, it, we knew that there were going to be matchups there that might suit us towards the end. And look, we were obviously very lucky at times that a couple sailed over the ropes that could have been a metre shorter and we're all out. But um, at the same time, yeah, we, we always knew that as long as we kept sort of just within the certain numbers that we felt comfortable with, that we were always a chance. And yeah, I thought the way Niche came out and and really dominated that one over, really set the momentum heading into those last few. So, um, yeah, take my cap off to him. He played a hell of a knock. And did you feel like England got anything wrong? Or do you think that you got any gifts at any stage? Or was it just that you guys just outclassed them at the end? I thought England played a hell of a game, to be fair. You know, to set uh, whatever it was, 170-odd on that surface, was, it was a hell of a, hell of a start. And, um, yeah, I guess it's, it's the nature of finals cricket. Um, it's always a game of inches. And... And we were lucky that, uh, yeah, we got the momentum right at the end. I thought, you know, the, the way they went about their innings in, in both bat and ball was, was very special. And, yeah, obviously I haven't watched it back yet, but I could imagine it was a hell of a game to watch. So, yeah, I take my hat off to England. They've had a great tournament.
how do you think is your first G20 World Cup final for New Zealand? How significant is this victory for the cricket New Zealand? And second question is, uh, you are qualifier for the final and the second semi-final tomorrow. Pakistan is still unbeaten in this tournament. Is it comfortable opponent in the final for you? Yeah, to the first one, it's obviously a great honour to represent my country at a World Cup. Um, yeah, if you said this five or six years ago, I would have laughed at you. So to be here sitting right now is awesome. Um, and yeah, I know us as a group, we're just really enjoying being part of this tournament and, and having as much fun as we can. So the second answer, the game tomorrow night, I, I can't tell you who's going to win. Um, we'll, I know we'll be watching it and we'll sort of start planning for both teams. But um, yeah, it'll be cool whoever we play against. You know, it's a World Cup final. It's going to be awesome. And I know we're going to walk out with a smile on our face and enjoy as much as we can. Um, hi, Daryl. Um, England have gone with the extra batter throughout the tournament, whereas you guys have gone with the extra bowler. Were, were you at all surprised they didn't go a little bit harder with the bat, bearing that in mind? Um, I think they went pretty hard, to be fair. I was watching Livingston hit some of those sixes, and I thought he's swinging real hard here. So, uh, no, I think that's obviously something that's worked for them for a long period of time in the, in the T20 and white ball formats. Um, so, no, it's something we probably definitely expected. Um, but, yeah, no, everyone obviously has different ways they want to balance their lineups. And, um, yeah, I it's worked for England for a long period of time, so you can't judge it on one game, that's for sure. I think if we're down in the room, we'll go to Ian Anderson from Stuff in New Zealand. Yeah, hi, Gerald. Congratulations. Um, obviously, uh, I think what we've been referred to in the, in the post-game match is a, is a late starter. It, it has been, to, to borrow a phrase of, of your dad's, a, a long journey for you to get here, hasn't it? But you were always, this was always your ambition, wasn't it, when you came back to New Zealand to play cricket, to, to be playing international cricket? Yeah, I guess I, I actually consider myself very lucky to have, have played for New Zealand. I think I debuted at 27. Um, so to be able to get um, seven, eight years of domestic cricket under my belt before representing New Zealand, I think I, I actually consider myself very lucky. It means I'm allowed to I learn my game a little bit and, and go through the highs and lows in domestic cricket so that um, yeah, once you get onto the international stage, you understand what, what works for you both as a cricketer and as a person. and. Um, you can just go about doing your business. Um, but yeah, for me, I, I'm just thoroughly enjoying being able to represent my country, play for New Zealand, and, and share a changing room with all my teammates. It's, it's pretty cool. So um, yeah, I'm having a blast and, and yeah, just trying to make the most of it. And a bit of extra special to have uh, Dad in the crowd tonight? Yeah, no, it was cool to have Dad there. He um, obviously flying over from England. It's, uh, yeah, with what's going on in the world at the moment with COVID, it's, um, yeah, it's, it's, Makes it challenging at times, but no, it was cool to, to have him in the crowd. Obviously, with the bubble life, you can't catch up with him, but um, yeah, I'm sure I'll have a chat to him on the phone tonight and he'll be pretty chuffed. And just one other thing, there was a little moment that was there where you turned down a run um, when you sort of collided with the bowler at the strikers' end. Um, was that just a, a, an immediate decision in your mind that it wasn't needed to, to force that single there? No, I felt I probably got in the way of Rashid a little bit. And, yeah, didn't want to be that guy that caused a bit of controversy. So I was happy just to, you know, we, we all played the game in, in good spirit. And, um, yeah, I just felt like uh, that was probably my fault. So um, as opposed to, yeah, trying to take the run, it's just better off just be able to start again and, and carry on. And um, lucky that, yeah, it didn't make a difference. Thanks, Daryl. All right, thanks every, very much, everyone. Cheers, Daryl. Thank you. Bye.